Hey friends, Summer here. Welcome to Power Life Live. This is Fit. Um, you need a set of dumbbells, weights, your mat, water, a towel, can't hurt. Uh, come on to it. Click play on your playlist and find ragdoll pose, please. In ragdoll, take your feet at least hip distance apart, maybe wider. I actually like to be all the way off my mat. Point the crown of your head towards the ground. You have the option to find a bend by bringing your hand to your opposite elbow and your opposite bicep. You can take it behind your back. You can let your arms hang, it really doesn't matter. Either way, breathe here. Stretch through your hamstrings, your calves, backside, your legs. Create space in between each vertebra. And imagine for a moment that your head is a bowling ball, your neck is a string, like let it hang heavy. So I don't want you to like hold on right here, any tension, like release it down, you guys. Bend generously through your knees. So today, while you stretch and feel good, I'll tell you what we're doing. We've got three blocks of exercises. Um, we'll run through them twice. So each block has three strength exercises. We'll hit them each for 45 seconds, followed by three cardio exercises. We'll in those for 30 seconds a piece, and then like a minute-ish of core. So um, like I said, we'll run through them twice, and you'll be out. Also, the cardio exercises, even though we're in them for 30 seconds a piece, they start big and they get a little bit easier as we go. So even if you're hearing 30 seconds and you're hearing like me, a minute and a half of cardio, you got this. Stay for a big breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Inhale your right arm high, rag dog with a twist. Breathe here. Roll through your wrists, maybe your shoulder. Bend generously through your right knee. Square your hips towards your mat. Twist through your waist. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale your left arm high. Right dog with a twist. Same thing. Bend generously through your opposite knee. Square your hips towards your mat. Roll your top shoulder back. <clears throat> Still working on healing my voice. Turns out when you teach a million classes a week and yell all the time, it doesn't really like ever sound amazing. It's my new sexy husky voice, what do we think? Voice of your nightmares. <laughs> Big breath in. Exhale, release, forward fold, heel toe your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Press your hands into your shins, breathe here. Reach the crown of your head forward. So I knew we all have a, an assumed position on the halfway lift. One to actually stretch, create space between each vertebra. Lengthen, press your tailbone back, the crown of your head forward, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Stay and breathe. Glide your shoulders down your back. Tuck your tailbone under, engage your lower abdominals. Big breath in. Exhale, mini back bend. Breathe here. Cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, shine through your chest. Exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, grab your dumbbells, take your feet out wide, dumbbell swings, lower down, squeeze your chest to lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, drive your glutes forward. Good news, our first block, lovely strength exercise, it's a great warm up, it's a great warm up. You're using the strength of your backside to lift your dumbbells, to raise them up, it's momentum, friends. There's no shoulder raise situation. You send your booty back, drive it forward. Thrust it forward, you got it, I want you to flex. Squeeze your butt cheeks together at the top. You're already down to 10 seconds. Last five. Last three. Two, goblet squat with a hammer curl. Inhale, lower, touch your dumbbells to the ground. Squeeze it up, hammer curl. Inhale, lower, touch. Squeeze it up, hammer curl. Track your knees over your toes. Pull your elbows in close to your body. Again, send your booty down and back. You got it. So think about it as like a sumo squat. So good. Squeeze through your bicep at the top. I want you to flex your guns. So unlike our dumbbell swings, I don't want you using momentum on this one. It's easy to do. So glue your elbows in so you can isolate your biceps by flexing them at the top. You have to flex. You have to flex. Nobody's watching. You're by yourself. We add a narrow press in three, two, Hold it low, hammer curl from here, narrow press on your way up. Hold it low, hammer curl, narrow press. Hold it low, hammer curl, 
narrow press. You start to curl at the bottom. There's a little bit of momentum happening, but we've already been in this exercise. Feel your abductors as your knees go wide. Glide your shoulder blades down your back to press your dumbbells to the ceiling. It's a hammer curl into a narrow press. So your elbows maintain the same distance from each other the entire time. Seven seconds. You get some cardio. In three, last two, take your dumbbells, top jumps, big jump. Get your knees up, get your knees up, get your knees up. You are here for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, they are ridiculous. They are a burner. 30 seconds only. You're already down to 20. Pick your pace. You've got, I want you to explode up, explode up. You can go like gangbusters here and go as fast as you can, but we want you to use the strength of your lower belly to drive your knees up. Again, it gets easier. It gets easier in three. Last two, we take a little something off. High knees, high knees. So you still have the big tuck, the big tuck in your lower abdominals. Drive your knee to your chest. So good, so good. I like my arms pumping at my side. If you want your arms overhead, do it. You do you, friends. But you have 30 seconds to get your heart rate through the roof. Because it's going to get easier in eight seconds. Thank God, right? Because like, if we want to stay in this, we need it to come down a little bit. Last three, two, fast feet, nice and easy. Fast feet. So good, friends. Swing your arms. Maybe you take it forward and back on your mat. You should be jiggling in places you didn't know could jiggle. Those places. You're down to 10 more seconds. Get lower in your legs. Swing your arms bigger. Go faster. Five. Last three. Two. High plank. High plank. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Brace through your belly, hug your navel up and in. We've got walking push-ups. Bring your hands directly beneath your shoulders. Prepare for chaturanga. You've got a tricep push-up, hug your elbows in towards your rib cage. Walk it out slow. Wide, I want it really wide. Off your mat, wide arm chest push-up. Walk it in, brace your belly. Bring it narrow, tricep push-up. Walk it out wide, really wide. Chest, walk it in. Triceps, walk it out for your chest. Keep going. And when I say for your chest, I mean it's mostly chest. You're still getting your triceps. You're using your back. You're using the strength of your core, not just your belly, but the strength of your lower back, your entire trunk. This is challenging. You are down to five seconds. Get the push-ups in. Even if you drop to your knees. Last two, inhale high plank. Exhale downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, grab your dumbbells, plant your right foot down. You've got a reverse lunge to a W I step curl. Step it forward, W curl. Sink it back, forward, W curl. Step it back, forward, W curl. Step it back, forward, W curl. Step back with the left, bring it forward, curl. Step it back, forward, curl. Long reverse lunge. Drive your right butt cheek forward stand. Keep flexing your guns. 10 seconds. You're down to five. Last three. Two. Stay on your right foot, single leg deadlift to an upright row. Inhale, lower your dumbbells to the ground, float your left leg back. Exhale, squeeze it up, upright row. Float it back. Squeeze it up, upright row. Tailbone back, squeeze your glutes forward, pull with your shoulders. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze it forward, pull it up. Reach through your leg, reach back with your hips. You can take this slow and controlled, so you can put all of your body weight into your right glute, your right hamstring. If you need to kickstand, kickstand, it's a good option. You're already done with this thing. You're already done in last three. Two, hold your bent over position, both feet down, alternate a wide arm row and back fly. Wide arm row, back fly, wide arm, back fly, wide, fly it. Pull them up, squeeze them in. 
Shoulder blades to the ceiling. On your spine. Ceiling. Spine. Keep going. Hinge forward a lot. You've got 15 more seconds here. Then we're in a cardio cardio. Notice how you have this little break to equally distribute your body with your both feet. You're welcome. Last three. Two, step your right foot forward, left foot back. Mario jumps, touch the ground, and explode. Touch, explode, palm down, up, pull palm, pull palm, get low, hit your mat, let's go. Up, point your toes, bigger. You want your whole palm, whole palm on your mat, hit that sucker. Whole palms, you get low. This is your big first cardio, 30 seconds. The second and third get easier. Three seconds to kill it. Last two. Jump switch lunges. You sink and switch, switch, switch. Still point your toes. Get some depth through your legs. So good, so good. Bend your knees, land like softly. 10 seconds. It gets easier. Look, one of these sides feels better than the other. One guess which. Last three, two, right foot forward, hold your lunge, knee drives, pull, 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 pull. Get low in your front leg, pull, pull. Squeeze your back so you get a little that pull down action. Drive your knee. Isometric hold for your front leg. It's cardio because it's fast, friends. Burn through your big muscles. I know they're barking, that's on purpose. Five. Last three, two, high plank. Come onto your left forearm, open your hips to the right, oblique crunch, you reach and pull, reach and pull. Rainbow, crunch, rainbow, crunch, I'll show you. Rainbow your hips up and crunch, press them up, crunch, press your hips, crunch, your rib cage to the ceiling as well. You get so much oblique love. Keep going. If you're like, lady, you're out your damn mind. There's no way I can hold this for 25 more seconds. Stay on your forearm, just do hip dips. It got a lot smaller. Notice this is the pattern, right? It's what we're doing in cardio too. To stay in the work longer, we modify, we adjust accordingly. We take a little something off. And if the hip dips are out of the question, just hold them modify that plank. Just hold, let the shake come. The shake has changed. You wanna see it, you're gonna feel it first. Five seconds. Last three. Two, inhale, high plank. Exhale, now we're facing dog. We're in our third block. Inhale, bend your knees up forward. Exhale, jump your feet outside your hands. Grab your dumbbells. Squat thrusters. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Touch your elbows to your knees. Press. Touch them. Press. Touch them. Press. You've got it. Press it up. Keep going. All right, my friends, 20 seconds. Squat thrusters, man, we're talking about functional strength. Everything's working. Your body's efficient here. Uses as a chance for like active recovery. Five seconds. Last four, three, two, stand up, overhead tricep extensions. Touch your dumbbells to your shoulders, squeeze them up through your palms forward. Inhale, lower touch, exhale, press it up, lower touch, press it up, lower touch, press it up, lower touch. You get a like, Chill in your legs for a hot second, or not. Maybe you add a calf raise. Squeeze it up and lower. Squeeze it up and lower. Reach to the ceiling. So good, friends. Take this slow so you can squeeze your calf in the back of your knee to come up onto your toes. With that stability, pull your navel to your spine, reach the crown of your head to the ceiling, and then with your overhead tricep extension, you might get reach taller to gain stability, to gain balance. Last five, last three, two, high plank with your dumbbells. Take your feet out wide, alternate renegade rows. You pull, 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 pull. Pull your shoulder blade to the ceiling. Exhale as you pull, inhale to lower. Squeeze through your belly. 20 seconds, you're getting a lot of core love here as well. Now we get to move to cardio. 
Stay in the work. Stay in the work. You've got eight seconds. You gotta pick it up. You gotta ditch your dumbbells in three, two, ditch your dumbbells high plank. You've got burpees. Hop it forward, jump up. Option for the push up. Option for the competition burpee. We drop to your belly. I don't care. You can take it wide. You can take it narrow. Just get them in. 20 seconds. Give me what you got. We're in our third block, friends. We finish our cardio. We get a little bit of core, and then we start from the top. So there's no surprises. We do the same thing. We even outside too. Seven seconds. It's about to get easier. Smaller. In three, two, half burpees. Shoot them back, send them forward. Shoot them back, send them forward. You still get out of your shoulders. Drop your hips at the top. Drop your hips. Drop your hips. Use the strength of your belly to drive your knees forward. 14 seconds. You're halfway there. Get them in. So close, so close. Oh, you hold the plank. You hold the plank in five. Last three, two. Mountain climbers, mountain climbers. I know your shoulders are starting to bark. That's on purpose. We aren't doing a ton of isolated shoulder work with our weights. We're hitting them in cardio and we're hitting them in compound movements. So this burn happening right here, you want it. You want it. Stay in your mountain climbers and plank. Stay in them. Let the shake come. Eight seconds. Holy buckets are down to five. Last three. Two, shoot your legs forward, come to your seat, grab your dumbbells. We've got a high low boat with a Russian twist. So we want you to sink back into like a low boat, twist to the right. Exhale, inhale, come up center. Exhale, twist to the left, lower down, come up and center. Lower, twist right, come up and center. Lower, twist left, up and center. You can make this harder by hovering your feet, finding the high low boat from here. If you want more control, and control is a good thing, you can plant your feet down and then make it a smaller range of motion, a smaller sit up. There's a fly in here and he loves me because I'm so sweaty. <laughs> oh, gross. Keep going, keep going. You are down to 15 seconds here. I want you to create the feels on your Russian twist. I don't care so much about your elbows touching the ground. I want you to lean back and twist through your obliques, twist through your midsection, reach through your shoulders, straighten your back. Then come up, straight and reach. Last three, two, let's take it from the beginning. Hop up, dumbbell swings with your dumbbells. Sink them down, squeeze it up, sink it down, squeeze it up. We're halfway there, friends. Anything from here on out is familiar for you. You know what you're doing. You can do this, you know you can, you've already done it. There's no surprises, we're just evening out, we're halfway through. So no matter what bit of fresh hell you're in, Nothing, nothing more than a minute. Some of them are less than 45 seconds. Some of it's less than 30 seconds. You can do this. 10 seconds of these. I mean, I wish they were longer. Don't you wish these were longer? God, I love it. Last five. So those exercises actually feels good while you do it. Last three, two, goblet squat with a regular bicep curl. Inhale lower, exhale, squeeze it up. Palms face forward at the bottom, face them in at the top. Send your booty down and back with your chest. Attempt not to use momentum. Busting myself here. Squeeze up. Squeeze up through your glutes, then your biceps. You can take this faster, but if you do, you take a little something off of your biceps. So you have to flex, you have to flex. These momentum will start like taking over. You have elbow joints. I mean, your body's efficient, right? You have to turn some mind-muscle connection on. Last three. Add reverse grip press in two. Inhale lower, bicep curl, reverse grip press. Your palms face behind you at the top. Glide your shoulder blades down your back to punch your dumbbells to the ceiling. Squeeze your biceps behind your ears. Ooh. Just a little extra something. Dig through your heels. Lift your toes. You don't even need them. They want you to squeeze your tush at the bottom. Squeeze it. Now squeeze it all the way up. Did you feel that? Did you feel that change? that you created in your own body. These slight tweaks that you can make on your own and change the exercise, change your experience, change your practice. But it's up to you, friends. I can only lead you through exercises. Seven seconds here. You get cardio in three, 
two. Drop your dumbbells, tuck jumps, sweet Jesus. Tuck it, tuck, 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 tuck up, tuck up, tuck up, tuck up. Come on, let's go. This is your last opportunity, the last half of class. You know where you're going. You've already been here. You know you can do it to dial it up a notch. Take it up. Take it up. Ten seconds. It gets smaller. You get high knees in six, five, four, three, two high knees. Get them up. 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 With these high knees, I want you to crunch forward. Think about it as a crunch. Your goals are in front of you. That's where you're going. That's where you're leading. So often we lean back. We want like a gold star to get our knees higher. Why? Why? Lean forward. Your goals are in front of you. That's where you're racing. Eight seconds, my friends. Yeah, you can. That's feet and five. Oh, it's easy. Last two. Fast feet, fast feet. Look, the only reason we're even calling this hot mess cardio is because your heart rate's already up and you're still moving. You're moving to maintain. Fast feet on their own, meh, not my favorite. But when you want to maintain your heart rate and not die, good option. It's a good option. Maybe you sink a little lower. Take it forward and back. Swing your arms big. Shake in all the weird places. Last three, two, high plank walking push-ups. Take it in narrow. Tricep push-up. Walk it out wide, wider than you want to go. Wide push-up. Walk it in. Take any rock out of your hips. Tricep push-up. Walk it wide. Wide arm push-up. Walk it in. Tricep push-up. Walk it out. You got it. You got it. Look at I'm the first, the first to drop to my knees. Not here, tricep push-up. I'm like, oh, hot damn. Here we go. Look, that's okay. As opposed to the wide arm push-ups where you have the strength of your chest, a little bit of back and your triceps. Tricep push-ups are harder, they're more isolated. Your triceps are not a huge muscle. Putting your body weight on your triceps is freaking hard. So if you just drop to your knees for just a tricep push-up, that's a good option. Come back up for the wide arm. Either way, I'd rather have you burn through your triceps than dump through your lower back. Five seconds, you just accordingly. Let your ego go. I know you're still working. Five more. Last three. Two. Exhale, number facing dog. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your dumbbells. Reverse lunge to a W hammer curl. Step your right foot back. Bring it forward. Curl. Step it back. Forward. Pulse is forward. Step it back. Curl. Step it back. Curl. Step it back. Curl. You got it. Squeeze your biceps. When you step back. You have the option to like touch your knee to the ground and get a little lower. A little extra something to get back up. But step back long. Five seconds. Three. Two. Single leg deadlift. Upright row. Inhale, lower your weights. Exhale, squeeze your glutes forward. Pull it up. Inhale, tailbone back. Exhale, squeeze it forward. Tailbone back. Squeeze it forward. Tailbone back. Upright row. When I say tailbone back, I want it behind your ankle. Behind your heel. If your balance is going to crack like mine, that's a good sign. That means your muscles are getting tired. <laughs> I don't know why mine are tired. I've done like five of everything you're doing. Meh. Five seconds. Last three. Two. Hold your bent over position. Both feet plant them on the ground. Alternate wide row to a back fly. Back fly. Wide row. Back fly. Brace to your belly. Hug it up and in. Pull your dumbbells towards your hips. Back. Shoulder blades to the ceiling. Shoulder blades to your spine. To the ceiling. To your spine. To the ceiling. To your spine. Keep going. Light up through your back, friends. Your beautiful, strong, sculpted back. Makes your waistline look better, too. All the wins. All the wins. Come on. Eight seconds. You can do it. Send your booty back. Hinge forward more. Use the strength of your back for the last three. Two. Drop your dumbbells. Left foot forward. Mario jumps. Full palm on your mat. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Get low. 
Come on, friends. Bigger. You do this inside one, you have to even out. You are so freaking strong. You are stronger than you think you are. You are stronger and more capable, competent, more capable. Capable. I like that. We're going to like bring Angelina back together. You sell yourself short all the time. That stops now. Stay in it. Five. Last three. Two. Switch lunges. Switch them. Switch them. Switch them. Switch them. Switch them. Switch them. You got it. Point your toes in the air. Find some intention. Point your toes. Lean with soft knees. Ooh, halfway there, friends. Left foot forward in five. Last three. Left foot forward, knee drives. With a back pull. With a back pull. You just hit your back. Squeeze your elbows together on your spine. Pull, pull, pull. Stay low in your front leg. Isometric hold of your front leg with the crunch with the pull. Keep going. It's still fast. It's still fast as cardio. But it's like recovery cardio. We're taking a little something off. Seven seconds. You get some core. In three, two, high plank. Come onto your right forearm. Open up to the left. Oblique oh, crunch. You reach and crunch. Reach, crunch. Parallel your forearm with the top of your mat. So it goes across your body. Reach, crunch, reach, crunch, reach. Bring your, ribbing your hip closer together. Again, when you get tired here, hip lifts. If when you get tired here, hold your side plank. You have options, pick one. Pick one and commit. Or pick one until you can't do it anymore and then you just take the other option. But it's up to you to push. This is the last bit of our second set. We are in our third block. Right after this, our third block, and then we're done, friends. We're done. You've got three strength, cardio, three strength, three cardio, a minute of core, and then you're done. Last three, two, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, jump your feet up wide. Squat thrusters. Touch your elbows to your knees and thrust. Touch it, thrust. Touch it, press up. Touch it, drive your glutes forward. Squeeze your biceps behind your ears. Strong. Strong. What happens when you grip your dumbbells? When you grip them tighter? What happens when you flex your biceps as you push up? Try it on. Now while you're at it, pull up through your core. Hug it up and in. So good. Can you drop your seat a little lower? I mean like a tot. Come on. So good, friends. Five. Last four. Three, you can stand up and two, stand up overhead, tricep extensions. Inhale, press. Excuse me, inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, down. Exhale, press. Touch your dumbbells to your shoulders. Maybe it's where you got a calf raise. Calf raise. Calf raise. Maybe you turn your heels in, toes out to so calf raise from a different angle. This way, in this angle, you get the ball of your calf more. This part, this part where it looks really good in heels. I mean, who cares us anymore? Keep going. We're like, hell, when my calves are popping, I might wear it more often. I don't know. I don't know, friends. Eight seconds is baloney. Wait, come back to it. Last three. Two. High plank with your dumbbells. Alternate renegade row. Seek your feet out wide. Pull. 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 Squeeze your shoulder blade to the ceiling. Your elbow, your dumbbell will follow. It's your shoulder blade, shoulder blade, shoulder blade. Pull it back. So good, friends. Come on. You're so close. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, you get your last round of cardio. I mean, we've got less than five minutes of class. Less than five minutes of class. Show up. Push hard. I know you're tired. We're almost there. You're in the home stretch. Last three. Two. Ditch your dumbbells. Burpees. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Go, go. This fly is driving me crazy. All right, friends, you got burpees. 20 more seconds of burpees. Can you level up? Take them to the competition burpee. Come to your belly. Maybe you add like a little extra snap. Maybe you add a push up. 
Pick something. Decide. Just decide to do it. What you want most versus what you want right now. You want to see change. You feel it and you show up for it first. Five more seconds, you get half burpees. And four, three, two, half burpees. Half burpees. Shoot them back, hop it forward. Get out of your shoulders. As soon as your feet jump to the top of your mat, drop your hips, get out of your shoulders. Press back down, high plank, and forward. Half burpees. You've been here before. Half burpees. Just halfway, you take the big jump out. You take the push up out. The snap if you added it. The belly if you've added it. Five more, you're almost there, friends. High plank in three, two, mountain climbers, mountain climbers. Get them in. This time, maybe take a cross body. Just to be a little extra, because you are extra. I mean, you're tired, but you're extra. Push. Stack your hips, twist your waist. Opposite knee, your opposite elbow. Go, go, go. So much oblique love. Heart rate's bumping. Eight seconds. We got a minute of quarter. And then we stretch and cool down, friends. Last three. Two, grab your dumbbells. High, low, Russian twist. Low boat, twist to the right. High boat to center. Low boat, reach back to the left. High boat and center. Lean back, twist. Come back up. Lean back and twist. Sit back up. You have so many options. You have so many options. I like my feet down just for stability because I'm leaning back. And just scare my hip flexors. You like, I mean, you decide you're going to be extra. You could be right here. Right here. With control. With control. So good, friends. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, and then you need to cool down. You're just going to feel like, feel good, stretchy stuff. Last 10. Push. Yes, you can. Last eight. Ooh. Five. Last three, two, drop your dumbbells, lay on your mat, full body stretch. Inhale your arms overhead, reach to your toes, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, big breath in. Exhale, hug your knees to your chest, rock and roll forward and back, build some momentum. Come on to your seat, figure four stretch, bring your right ankle above your left knee, pull your heel towards your booty, flex your toes. You can gently sway if it feels good. Feel a stretch in your right side booty. You flex your knees, or excuse me, you flex your toes, you protect your knees, dear God. I teach more classes today, I better get my stuff together. <laughs> you do what I mean, you do what I mean. Body parts are hard, rise and lefts are hard. Big breath in, exhale, extend your leg long, switch it out. Bring your left ankle above your right knee. Pull your heels towards your booty. Flex your toes. Gently sway. Okay, I'm so looking for this song. Let me like fast forward this a bit. Wind it down. I'm going to start getting jazzed in these. Ah, here we go. This going to die. Continue to breathe. Big breath in. Exhale, release your bind, extend your legs long, with any well-earned abundance out of the way, inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, seated forward fold. Grab the knife edge of your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need. Lengthen through your spine to the crown of your head forward. Exhale. Inhale, slowly roll up to a comfortable seated position. For me, it's crisscross applesauce. Inhale your arms overhead. Grab onto all the amazing energy you brought with you to your practice. All the amazing energy you're going to send out into the world after your practice. Pull your hands into heart center. We honor each other with namaste. So good, my friends. Awesome, awesome job. Way to kill it. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, rest of your week. We'll see you soon.